and it's, it's going to ultimately result in bitterness and it's going to be internal and it's going to be something that you've done to yourself because you haven't recognized that you have set up this expectation that you've then not met and then you've sown seeds of bitterness in your own heart against yourself and then you have this cycle of, of unrest. <laughs>
I'm not clear about that I'm holding for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, because some people are at home uh, who maybe for years have been beating themselves up over something that they didn't realize they were holding themselves to. Yeah. You know, like I'm thinking of like the person who is beating themselves up because they don't look a particular way. Right. Or they don't, you know, they're not in the right kind of shape that they want to be in. Mm -hmm. But they didn't realize that they were holding an expectation of somebody who might go to the gym every day. Mm -hmm. So there's like this comparison thing going on and that's a whole, whole different issue. Yeah. But what, what I, what I, one of my, one of my favorite pastors, Bishop T.D. Jakes, he said, sometimes you have to date yourself. And I think that that gives you that opportunity to look at what expectations am I holding for myself that can give me steps to meet them so I don't hate myself or, mm -hmm. or like, you know, have that self-loathing depression thing that people suffer with. Yeah. So in what ways, uh, what ways do you approach looking at the expectations you hold for yourself, clarifying them so you can meet them and avoid the whole negative, you know, spiral that we can so easily fall into. Yeah, and, and I think, I think that's huge. And I love that, that that's the direction that you went because uh, we, we can put these expectations on ourselves that are unachievable, not because, not because for any other reason than that's not what we were made for. That's, That's not how we were created. Yeah. And I think about I've my brother and I, we my brother is this big, huge, massive, massive man. I mean, he's I mean, he's I don't I, he's six two I don't know I think he's two forty right now. And and most of that is muscle. And if you're looking at me and thinking how is that possible, <laughs> you're six two one sixty five, right? Um, I've always, I've, I've always struggled with, my brother is, is muscular and big and why am I not that way? And I'm in the gym and I'm eating nothing but protein and I'm supplementing and I'm doing all of these things and it's like, genetically you were not made to be that. Right. Right. And, and, and so we can just scientifically say, genetically, you don't have the bone structure, you don't have uh, the genetic coding to be built that way just bottom line and there are ways that you can push against that and you can train against that and and i'm not saying that you don't try hard i uh, obviously that is not one of my <laughs> so <laughs> yeah so i don't i'm not talking about laziness i'm here. not talking about being no. lazy right um i think it's important that that you don't take this one second clip out of context like people do with td jakes so if you see something from td jakes online then it's only 30 seconds watch the whole thing that's right watch before, the sermon be yeah before you take one one minute um skip heitzig messages uh that somebody's saying he said something he didn't say watch the whole thing and compare it biblically against yeah. uh, what scripture says same thing here watch the rest of the video so you know that <laughs> i'm saying it's not about being lazy right right it's not an excuse to be lazy you should Put the effort in, right? But right? there's an element of just, just reality. Yeah. Just look at the, just look at the reality. The reality is, I work out harder than my brother does. I eat better. I eat way better than my brother does. I eat so much cleaner, and it's just genetically not who, who I was made to be. The coding of my DNA does not allow me to be the same size that he is. That's his genetic coding. So. If we just look at that and say, I'm not, clearly I'm not, and again, when you see a roadblock, that doesn't mean that that's permanent forever and you can't work past it and you can't, um, you can't surround yourself with people who will help catapult you to where you, you're, you're called to be and, and you're supposed to go. It's not that at all, but some of those are, don't hold yourself to expectations that, that God didn't make on you or assign to you, um, and don't hold yourself to expectations that you you don't realize that you've set up in your mind as being uh, things that you're supposed to attain because other people have said that you should. Yeah, that's that's not um, it's not healthy, and it's it's going to ultimately result in bitterness, and it's going to be internal, and it's going to be something that you've done to yourself because you haven't recognized that you have set up this expectation that you've then not met 
and then you've sown seeds of bitterness in your own heart against yourself, and then you have this cycle of, of unrest.